I know the hound is everything, and his voice, a very special music. There are certain places in the world where a man will always be an intruder, such as the northern frontier of Kenya. In its midst is Lake Rudolph, adjacent to the world's most extensive breeding grounds of the freshwater flamingo. In the lake's history, there have been but 20 boats of any kind on its waters, and many have proved too frail for the lake's high winds. Lake Rudolph and the northern frontier have always exerted a magnetism for singular men. Anthropologists have established that here at Kubifora is one of the world's most important fossil sites. Its discoverer, Richard Leakey, member of a famous scientific family. His guests, attracted here by Lake Rudolph's Nile perch fishing, are Gene Kelly, one of the world's greatest entertainers, and his friend, the always exotically dressed golfer, Doug Sanders. This area here on the east side of Lake Rudolph is actually one of the richest prehistoric sites there are, in, not only in Africa, but in the world. And we've got many, many sites like this one here with just a wealth of fossil remains. Look there, are these fossils? Yes, indeed. What, so what's, rich. What's this? Here we've got an elephant tooth there. This is an unerupted uh, third molar of an elephant. A what? A third molar, lower, oh, I see. lower <laughs> the, the tooth at the back here of a young, youngish animal. And how long ago did that live here, would you say? About I, I, 2 remember. million, 2.2 around that region. 2.2 million years? Yeah. No, nothing here is going to be younger than 2 million of well, these sites that I'll be showing you. Will you ever be able to find something like this and put the whole skeleton together, or more or less? Well, yes. Unfortunately, here we've just got a few fragments that I'm showing you, but we do have sites where we n not only get a number of fragments that will piece together, but one of the exciting parts about our area here is that we are finding complete specimens, complete skulls of elephant, pig, rhino, you name it. Any of the African animals, we're getting complete material here. Anyway, let's go on and we'll see what else we can Alrighty. see on this. Um... This is very interesting, isn't it, Gene? Well, I thought I was aging a bit, but uh, now I feel quite young. Here we have the best part of a complete uh, hippo skeleton. We have the skull, and we have down there part of the limb bones, and all mm. around this area you can probably put together the, the whole specimen. And here you see the complete skull. It's fairly badly broken. What's got to be done here is we've got to take this back on a stretcher, it's fairly fragile, back to the laboratories, put in a trench and collect a lot more of the specimen that's still in the ground here. Yes, yes. And then try to put it together? And then it'll all be put together and it'll become a complete specimen once again. Marvelous. Really Very good. fascinating. Hi, Paris. Let's try another level. This time, the concerned approach. That the only song he knows? Dear Mr. Cabot, I am writing to you again, not as an agent, but as a concerned viewer, who happens to represent some fine talent like Bimbo the Chimp and Wanda the Dancing Hot Dog, who have found places on other late night shows. Now, if there's room on your show for Fred Astaire, why isn't there room for Seymour, the human spring? Yeah. Shut up. Mr. Cavett, you must be having trouble getting acts. Why else would you spend a whole night with Zero Mustel or Kirk Douglas? Be honest. Has Orson Welles ever skated on an oil slick? That, Mr. Cavett, is entertainment! <laughs> Our idea of entertainment is a great host with great guests, and that's what you get on The Dick Cavett Show. One of the world's largest freshwater fish, the Nile perch, is a reminder that Lake Rudolph once joined the Nile. There are few men better qualified than Northern Frontier Game Warden Rodney Elliott to give Gene and Doug advice on boating these giants. Well, do we need these? Yeah, you may well need them. These, these Nile perch, you know, they go from two to three hundred pounds. Really? Yeah. Three hundred pounds? Three hundred oh. pounds, Bonner. Absolutely. <laughs> Big things, yeah. <laughs> we in for it, Gene. Yeah, it's all right. Here I'm game. Go ahead. Uh, Go ahead. All right, uh, let me get... Come over here on this side, here. Yeah. yeah, Gene. All right. We trail for them about 15, 20 yards out. Now that's good enough, huh? Yeah. Okay. Gene, shall we have a little wager on this? I'm with you. How much you save for the first fish? All right. Well, if it's not what's wrong with a PGA, twenty-five dollars. Uh, first fish and the biggest fish. The biggest fish and another the first twenty-five. Fish. Right. Okay. Oh, got a chance okay. Here back. we go. You bring us the spot, it, Rodney. <laughs> it sure is lovely here, though. It Isn't really it beautiful? beautiful? It really is. Beautiful. Twenty-five bucks, huh? For the first. I hate to, hate to take your money. And for the biggest. And for the biggest. Oh, oh, you. 
You poor rebel. <laughs> well, I won some and lost some before, too, Jake. <laughs> Would you? And he's really fast asleep. You don't catch him asleep yeah, like that very yeah. often. Well, he's got a lot of fish every day. Fantastic. He's just lying there, just kind of getting a little. Oh! Yeah, oh. nice going. Pretty thing, wasn't he? That was a big one. Oh, I got some there. Gosh darn it, God, it just, just nibbled and went away. Got one, Rodney. Go! Bring yours in, Jane. Pass as you can. Gotcha. He feels big. Yeah. Watch it, he's coming up. I think he's gonna jump. There he is. Yeah, it's a good fish. Keep him there. Yeah, that's Keep a him beauty. There. That's a beauty, Doug. Take it easy now. Take your time. You keep at it. You got a good fish there. Here he yeah. comes. Is he coming up? Yeah. And there he goes. Right, no, no, him. don't say that. Pump him, pump him, pump him. He's running forward. I think I may have to go forward if he goes on like that. There yeah. he is. There he there is. There he is. There he is. Take it easy, take it easy. My God, way! You, you tell me when you think he's ready, but don't, don't try and rush him, huh? He looks like he's gonna have to have a little more time, Rodney. Yeah, yeah, he that's He feels fine. awful big. Might be the winner right here, Gene. <laughs> <laughs> Stay with him, Douglas. You don't know it, fish, but I'm tired. <laughs> Why don't you come on up and hit the feet? No, that's all right. We'll go down and pop him back. We are winning. Well done. That's a good one. You work him in gently as you can. I'll... I think he's probably just about ready now. You got it. You got it. Look. I reckon he's, got him he's strong. I reckon he's ready, Doug. Work, yeah. work him in gently. Work him in Alrighty. gently. All righty. I'll pull him back a little bit. Got him, Rodney? Yeah, I got him. I got him. Hold on to him tight. Let's not lose him. He's gone. He was too heavy. Well, dog, I'm sorry. You can't win them all, baby. Fault. No, My no, fault. no. Win some, you lose some. This is the 72 Ford LTD Brome. Its suggested price is thousands less than that of this $8,000 car. The $8,000 car is nine inches longer than the LTD with a bigger engine, but you expect more difference than that. So, you step inside the two cars, and... Here's power disc brakes, power steering, automatic transmission. Check, check, and check. Cut pile carpeting. Cut pile carpeting here. You can, you can even, even have, have power, power seats, seats up, up front. front. This one has optional automatic temperature control and a power sunroof. But so does this one. Chances are this $8,000 car has all the luxury you'd ever want. Yeah, but so does the LTD. And its sticker price is thousands less. Think about it. And remember to add LTD's quiet into the bargain. Get quiet plus at your Ford dealers. For it's one, two, three strikes around at the old fish game. <laughs> Get those hippos over there in the water. Well, he's just swimming along like a little, uh, a stroll in the park in the afternoon. Look at him now, he's run out of breath. <laughs> Rodney, is there any chance at all that he would come underneath us? <laughs> in some places we'll you've got to be careful with them. They're fine in this lake because they don't get shivered from boats. Can you imagine Gene fishing along with... Hey, Gene, you got one! Bring him in, Gene. Get yours in, dog. Get it out of the way. Don't want to have any cross lines here. 
Hey, Tammy! This is going to be a beauty, Gene. Oh, look, Terry, well, I jumped beautifully. Uh -huh. Oh, my God. Oh, Gene, you got... He's bigger than I thought. You <laughs> little baby. Oh, he's well done. Hold on to him, Gene. You handle that thing just like that your own skates. <laughs> There he goes, there he goes. You got him hooked good, Gene. I think I got you two bits, too, Doug. <laughs> well, I don't mind paying that off to see a good catch. Yeah. There he is, there he is. On there the he top is. There. there he goes, whoop. Oh, well, that's, that's a, a better one. Him, isn't he? Yes. That's <laughs> a better one. But he's killing me. <laughs> Watch, Watch it now, he's going to come up, he's going to jump. I see him, I see yeah. him. He's right here. You bring him in, I'll hit him with an eight iron. <laughs> oh! They're hard to get in. There he is. Yeah, well, I, I thought you'd lost him for a moment. He shook his head right towards us. That's a horrible place to be. Well done, well done. Keep him there. Gene, this is a good one. This is a good one. Oh. You bring it, work him in gently now. I think I can handle him. All right. He's done. Well, I'll eat tonight anyway, Gene. Good work, Rodney. Thank you. Good work <laughs> to both of you. That's the number one! That the one? Well, you won the first bet, but we'll get the second one a little later. <laughs> okay. The room, All right. I hope you do. Got one, Rodney. Good work, Douglas. Watch out. He's coming up. He's coming up. Watch your rod tip. Keep your rod tip up when he jumps. Well done. This is a good one, Rodney. Yeah, that's hard to hold on to this one. <laughs> I reckon this is going to beat that one of yours, Gene. Oh, never. But I got to land him first to win the bet. Yeah, I know. Oh, he is big. Look. I know, but there's oh, a nice fish, that. Oh, boy. Yeah, but only, every right, time I pull him up, the, well, uh, the right, rod goes out. That doesn't matter. There he doesn't goes. Matter. Look yeah, at there this. Look, look at him. jump. Relax. 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 Yeah, he's better. He's a better fish. He's back out there. All Look right, at him go right. now. All right, don't worry. That's all right. Don't worry. Gene, I can't lose this one. No, no, you won't lose it. I got to take this one home to Brad, my little son. If I lose this one here, I'm going to jump right over in the boat like one of those crocodiles get me. <laughs> I can't be this unlucky. <laughs> Work him in if you can. Put him down and get a little bit more up. Yeah, that's fine. Now, 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 now bring him up. Now bring him up. That's it. That's it. Bring him up. Bring the rod right back up to the vertical. Yeah, but and, then, and then as you go Obviously down again... Obviously, your bank must be stronger than mine, because I can't... <laughs> well, he's not this, this happens. This happens. Some of them... All righty. Yeah, I'll bring him up now. That's right. Bring him up. Bring him. That's it. That's all right. It's a good one. So it doesn't matter. We take our time. If you try and rush him, we'll break him off. Don't worry. That's Goes right. back out. He's not ready yet. That's all. He's not ready. Is that ready? No, he's not ready. Yet. I think one thing. I don't know. About, at him and I don't know about him, but I'm ready. <laughs> fine. Work him in. I that's think fine. I he's coming in nicely now. You're you're winning well. Come on, keep in touch with him. That's fine. That's it. Just just hold him there. Do you have him good? Yeah, he's all Rodney? right. He's all right. Oh, now, now you got him. Rodney put that good, strong hand on him, he's got him. Okay. All right. Let's all bring him aboard, Gene. That's fine. I said he does it. Mind that rod. Huh? You grab Watch your rod. rod. Dad. Grab the rod. Yeah, all right. Grab the rod. Wait a minute. It hung up. Okay. I got the first one, but you sure caught the biggest one. <laughs> Rodney, what, what would you say? How big is this fish? I mean, uh, with other freshwater fish around the world, is this really a big one, isn't it? Yeah, it certainly is. Uh, you know, they're terribly difficult to judge their weight because they're they're just as thick as, as they are there long. See, they go over a hundred pounds. It's well over a really hundred. Well over a hundred. You don't know. This is the, almost catching this thing here would have been as equal as making the putt at the British Open last year. It sure is a monster. For two Americans, there's no doubt that the spirit of adventure which brought them to the edge of the frontier, to the middle of a desert, to the vast inland sea, was well rewarded. Kurt Gowdy for the American Sportsman. Next week, Chris Schenkel returns to his native Indiana with his boy, Ted. With just store-bought cane poles, they're out with celebrated musician Hoagie Carmichael, a fellow Hoosier. A day with a packet of worms and some bobbers reliving boyhood. And then, the American Alligator, 
a prehistoric creature whose legend little resembles the facts. So we discover when we try to catch one at night with outdoorsman Gritz Gresham in a Louisiana swamp from a small boat. Coming up next week on The American Sportsman. The American Sportsman has been brought to you by Firestone. The name that's known is Firestone, where the rubber meets the road. Air travel arranged through and a promotional fee paid by American Airlines. Fly American 747 and DC-10 luxury liners or the new 707 luxury jet. American Airlines passengers get the best of everything. The events depicted in the preceding program actually occurred. Certain production and editing techniques or recreations of portions of the program have been used to achieve visual clarity or dramatic continuity. This has been an ABC Sports presentation.